Uh, we've also talked a lot about antibody tests, that way to see if you've already had COVID-19 and you've built up some sort of immunity. And tonight, the CDC has more guidelines that may actually help hint at when that immunity could begin to run out. Here's Spencer Blake. This week, the CDC put out guidelines that say if you already had COVID-19 and you're exposed to the virus again within the next three months, you don't need to be tested again. Some people took that to mean the CDC was endorsing immunity. The CDC quickly backtracked on that and said, hey, we're not trying to say that you can't get it again. We're not trying to say that you're safe for 90 days. The agency's guidelines now clearly state at this time, we do not know if someone can be reinfected with COVID-19. Phoenix emergency physician Dr. Frank Lavecchio says the CDC is likely trying to be as cautious as possible. I will say the great majority of us will be protected for at least 90 days if we had even a mild case of COVID-19. They wouldn't want someone who had the virus to think they're now completely immune and start living recklessly. But Lavecchio says science is probably on your side for a while. Beyond that, well, the virus has hardly been around long enough for scientists to know. Tests have shown the 90-day mark is about when a person's antibodies drop in half. So someone who was severely ill will likely be protected longer than someone who had mild symptoms. Lavecchio recommends trying to get what's called a tighter antibody test, one that gives you more than just a yes or no result. If you can get a titer at some time or a level that tells you where you're at, we can figure out you know, how likely you are to get the infection again. There are no confirmed reports of a person being reinfected with COVID-19 within three months, but if you start having new symptoms in that time, you might need to be reevaluated. There are other types of coronaviruses like SARS that have lifetime immunities. Dr. Lavecchio says that won't be the case for COVID-19, but he's hoping that we'll at least get about a year or so of immunity from antibodies, kind of like we do for the common cold. I'm Spencer Blake for Arizona's Family.